Hello everybody, it's Illy. Another bad decision when it comes to filming. It is, actually no, it's not that bad. It's like 1.30 a.m. But, um, wanted to film a video. So here I am. And this video is my end of the year 2018 physical TBR. I think that's what I'm going to title this, right? Um, basically, I just wanted to talk about the rest of the books that I physically own that sit on my shelves. Also, I'm behind my, in front of, can I speak? I'm in front of my other shelf, so cool. I just want to talk about the physical books that I currently own that I need to read, obviously. A little bit about my book buying and book reading habits. I do not read ebooks and I don't listen to audiobooks, so no, that's not included here. That's not a part of it. I don't do ebooks, I don't like reading on electronics. Looking like at electronics just gives me a headache and I don't like it, so. And then audiobooks, I can't. I can't do audiobooks. I don't focus. I won't pay attention. I won't retain anything. I'll just drift off. I do that when I read normal books. So, like, me with an audiobook, I'm just gone. Can't happen. Book buying habits now, this year, I have not been buying. I usually, I'm, like, every month. Like, you know, people have, like, 500 books. They have, like, a monthly book haul. I have never understood that. <laughs> not me. Don't buy that many books. I'm a broke 20-year-old. Can't have that. This year, I think I've bought the least amount of books ever because the last year was a bad reading year for me I wasn't in a good place so I didn't read that much as I normally do this year I've read a lot been slowly buying books this year I'm not like binging books like crazy every month or anything so let's I don't know let's just do it let's start with the boring stuff first I guess I don't know I have two Jane Austen books. I have Persuasion and Mansfield Park. Um, fun fact, never read anything by Jane Austen. Tried to read Persuasion once, read five pages, and it was just like, I'm not gonna read this. Will I ever read these? Yeah, because I own them. So, I bought these at a used bookstore. They were both like 50 cents, and I collect, or I don't collect, I just have, I, when I started buying classics, I bought them in these Barnes & Noble classic editions, just because like, they were accessible and like they were there so now all of mine are basically these so I was like um they'll match my editions so I'm gonna buy them and I'm like everybody needs to read Jane Austen right but like still haven't done it next Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut Kurt Vonnegut amazing phenomenon I've read Cat's Cradle by him which I love it's like one of my favorite books probably obviously this is like his most well-known book I believe this is actually my brother's copy and I want to read it and give it back to him the next time I see him, which is like early January, so I'm going to do that. I'm probably not going to explain what any of these books are about, because I'm not good at that. Summarizing? How you do that? Not me. Can't do that. Let's just go to the next one. This is, okay, remember when I said I was going to read books because I own them, so I should read them? This is never going to get read. I do own Outlander. I bought this 400 years ago. It's a tiny little mass market paperback, this ugly edition. Because, you know, it was big and popular. It still is, I think. I don't really know. But, like, everybody's, like, raves about it. And I'm like, oh, it's cheap right here. I'm going to buy it. I'm never going to read this. It's not my thing. I'm not into that. Why, why did I buy it? I don't know. I have no impulse control. Next is The Devil Crept In by Ania Allworn. Allworn. This is an author that my mother just loves. Um, I have two of her books because my mother, like, ordered them. She ordered all of her books, and two of them got lost in, like, the process shipping. And so they resent her, those two books, and then she ended up getting them, like, the originals, and then she just gave them to me. I read her, her other book. Her writing's okay, things were okay. I just had a lot of issues with it. So that's what I read was brother, I think. Um, had some issues with it. This one, don't again, don't know what this is about. I'll probably buddy read this with my mother. So cool. Um, a popular one. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I believe the second book to this is out now, and I'm like, yikes. I love Marissa Meyer. I loved the Lunar Chronicles, surprisingly. I was like, I didn't think I was gonna like them. I'm a fucking trash for them. And so I was like, I'm going to buy everything that she ever writes. Bought this beginning of the year. It's huge. I just haven't read it yet. I don't know. I think I just was like, hm, might want some cool YA to get into. Um, just never picked it up. Next is this really cute one. It is Christmas Time with Anne by Ellen Montgomery. It's like um, Anne of Green Gables, part of that, I think. I've never read Anne of Green Gables. I bought this again used because it's this cute little, I don't know if it's supposed to have a desk jacket, but it has like a little... 
what are these called bookmarks and it's just so cute I love it um I bought it because it was cute and I was like it was cheap so I want it and I've never read the original but I don't know if I have to but like Christmas time it's almost Christmas I should read this this month cute love it now I have The Will to Power by Frederick Nietzsche it's philosophy um I bought this in high school because I have a weird thing about philosophy and reading things about that and like theology and stuff. I don't have much to say. It's a to conquer. If I ever want to feel pretentious, if I want to learn something, maybe I'll pick this up. Maybe that'll be the time I pick it up. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's late. I just... Books. This one's exciting. I want to read this soon. I think I'm going to read it this month. Born by Jeff Vandermeer, which... Kate talked about at the beginning of this year I think she raved about it and then I saw it super cheap on book outlet so I was like I'm buying it and it's sci-fi something about a, this thing is it a plant I again I don't know much about these books I like to just buy things just cuz and I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna talk to Kate about it and hopefully rave about it hopefully I love it too another book is Obsessed by Allison Britz. This is like a memoir about the author who has OCD. I think it's following her teen years, maybe when she's in high school. I don't remember. I'm so bad at this. But I also have OCD, and I understand OCD is not the same for everybody, which is why I love reading books about it and seeing about any mental illness, really, and seeing how other people deal with it, have struggled with it, how it affects them. This, I was just intrigued. Love the beads. I literally love this color, color cover. I love this cover. Cute. Cool. My next book. I don't know how to just go into it. You know how um, white boys always are like, I love history, and it's just them spewing generic knowledge about World War II? It me, except I actually um, do love history, and I do know a lot about World War II. Maybe I am just a stereotype. I'm not white. I am white. I am half white. I'm a boy. So. Anyway, this book. <laughs> it's called The Hitler Book. It's basically, I believe, two Nazis or two people. It's either two people from Hitler's side or two people from Stalin's side got captured and they're telling their tale about stuff. So, you know, the thing that intrigued me about this was that it's straight up documents from that time and it's from that point of view of those people who were there which I I was just like that sounds cool the funny story about that is I bought it when I bought another Hitler-esque book and the cashier this was like I was in high school I was like 16 maybe the cashier at Barnes and Noble was like oh are you doing a report on World War II Hitler and I go no and she was just looked at me and she was like um, I don't know if you're like a neo-Nazi, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna ring you up and not answer my questions. And I was like, thanks. Um, this is another one I've had this again for years then. And I don't know when I'll get around to reading it. I have this thing, I don't like unhauling books. Especially if I haven't even given them a try. And I know that's a thing, like, if you're not gonna like it, don't waste your time, all this stuff. And like, DNFing books. I can't do that. I just don't do that. Sorry. Sue me. All right, my last section of books are all the Stephen King books like that I personally currently own that I haven't read yet. Um, I read most of my books from, or my Stephen King books from my mother because she has every single one of his books except for Cycle of the Werewolf and the Colorado Kid. If you can um, link me to somewhere where I can buy that for not $150, much appreciated. Love to complete that collection for her. These are just the ones that I own that are in my own personal collection that I I don't know how to speak. It's late. I'm not feeling good. I just wanted to film a video. Let's just get into it. Um, the first one is The Eyes of the Dragon, which is a fantasy, high fantasy Stephen King, which is like cool, different from what he normally writes. Um, th my mother was getting rid of this because it's a really beat up, gross edition, and she has a newer edition, and I was like, copping that. I want that love fantasy, like Stephen King. We're gonna read this. Next one is um, another theme. Uh, my mother has two copies of this for some reason, so I was like, well, let me cop that. This 
is a short story collection. Oh, it's Skeleton Crew. I don't know if you can read. I don't know how to fucking read or talk to people. It's short story collection, which has a lot of short stories in it, actually. And I've read one from here, The Mist. I actually don't remember what any other ones in here are, so... Cool. The next one is Pet Cemetery. This... I've seen the original movie. It's a good movie. I've seen almost all of his movie adaptations. So, like, I'm familiar with the story. Um, there's a new movie coming out, I think, in 2019. Probably read this, because I'm probably going to end up watching that movie when it comes out. So, should read it before then. My last one. Desperation by Stephen King. Why did I say by Stephen King? We know they're by Stephen King. That's what I said. Again, this is about a town. I just know that. I know that there's another one, regular, that's kind of a companion. Not really follows the same characters, but they're all different and weird. My mother was fucking ranting about that when she read these. But, um... Again, my mother has two copies. I get one. Thank you, mother. Cool. Alright, that's it. That's all my physical current TBR at the end of 2018. Tell me if you've read these. Tell me if you have and tell me if you know anything about them. Because I obviously don't. And, um, cool. Do you guys, how do you feel about TBRs? I don't know. I don't know how to be a YouTuber, obviously. Just, uh, talk to me. I am lonely. Thank you for watching. I love you all so, so much. I hope you are all sleeping at regular times. Get enough sleep. Staying hydrated. That's important. Stay warm. It's the winter time. All right. Goodbye. How do you fucking book papers make this? Um, thumbnails with all the books that are holding. I'm not going to... Did you see that attempt? I'm gonna definitely put this in the video because that was hilarious. I knew it wasn't gonna happen. Why did I do that? <sighs>